What's up, YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again, and today I'm bringing you a special video with some gaming content. We're going to play some Diablo 2 today, bring it back old school. But of course, before we get into that, let's talk about what I am vaping on right now. So, the mod, classic Archon mod by Aspire. Haven't used this in a while, so I bust it out. Figured, why not? Let's break it out. Got the Balerian on top here with the Saves Intelligence E Juice which is a wintergreen flavor and vaping at 77 watts because the Aspire Archon is tried and tested and fires about 10 to 15 watts over what it should. So to avoid burning coils, I'm vaping at 77 watts with the Valerian tank, which is usually around 90 to 100. With that in mind, let's take another hit and let's get into the gaming. So good. So oh, I missed you guys. How are you guys all doing today, by the way? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are doing, what you guys are up to. If you guys like this content, I'm going to do some gaming content for you guys over the next couple weeks, mostly focusing on Diablo 2. Might throw in a little bit of like Roller Coaster Tycoon in there, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. See what happens. But with that in mind, every video I'm going to talk about what I'm vaping on, maybe do a quick review in some of these videos while I'm playing or before I start playing. And so with that in mind, let's get into it. Some Diablo 2 on Pluggy. If you guys don't know what uh, Pluggy is or you don't know what Diablo 2 is, then let's get into it real quick. I'll show you the character and uh, which one we're going to be using today. We're going to be doing some Magic Find runs. Uh, we're going to do like 10 Mephisto runs for this video, nice and short, as well as go over the gear I'm using right now as well. Uh, Diablo 2 is a game that came out in 2000. I believe the expansion came out in 2001 maybe, 2003, something like that. Uh, a lot has changed. The Pluggy variant of this means that we are actually playing on single player. Uh, however, with a few modifications that try not to affect the game too much, but just kind of bring it into a more cohesive uh, gaming uh, environment kind of thing. So with that in mind, uh, the big difference in Pluggy is you have this unlimited stash here, which actually goes up to like 5 million rows or something like that. Uh, I'm only using like 500 of them, so what I'm going to do is show you all my stuff and how it's organized. So. We skip ahead to page 100 and we have all the set stuff I have. Just trying to collect it. I'm basically doing a grail list, which means I'm trying to collect every item in the game. Uh, so that's kind of why my stash is so organized and why it has to be organized. Just keep track of everything. Um, this is a Saigon set. May bring back memories for some of you guys. Skipping ahead to page 200, we have all of our normal uniques. So armors, helmets, gloves. Got some frost burns there, some chance guards. Uh, all that good stuff. And then, of course, to 300, you have some of my more uh, elite uniques. And then we have the, uh, or sorry, I guess these are like the uncommon. I can't remember which one this one called. But yeah, the, the last page, 400, are all my elite uniques. These are the ones that are like really high end. Some like Headhunter's Troll, Storm Shield, kind of popular. Uh, all that stuff. And yeah, you can see I've just kind of gotten started in it. Haven't done a ton of uh, grinding yet. But uh, to give you an idea, I've mostly been doing lower grass runs, which means I get a lot of high runes for that. So I have a couple of Mal runes. Uh, some Isti runes, some Gull runes, some Vex, some Ohm, and then I have three Sirs, which means I only need one more Sir, and then I can actually make a Infinity for my Merce, uh, Merce being Mercenary, which is this dude right here, and let's get into his gear. So he's using Andy's Visage, uh, unsocketed right now, left bare, and then of course he has a Treachery on, which just helps with the Fade proc, uh, which will basically raise his resistances to make him more survivable in battle. And then, of course, we have the Obedience in a Thresher, which has a ton of damage, 56 to 662. So his total stats right now, his damage is 388 to 2400. Uh, he's level 89. And yeah, and then we'll get into my gear. So my gear, I'm using a Hodo, Heart of the Oak, uh, three dual skills, faster cast rate, all that good stuff, some resistances. Uh, I'm using Tal's armor. I actually was using a different armor, but I decided to switch to Tal's armor and the Tal's amulet just to get some extra magic find and uh, some extra cast rate. And then we have the Plain magic, two to source, a little bit of life, uh, coronet, uh, spirit sh monarch shield, pretty standard in a sorceress build, water walk boots. Uh, we got a nature's peace and a 10% fast cast rate ring, uh, another cast rate belt, some mage fist for the cast rate, and on switch, we have a call to arms for the battle orders. Uh, this is a really bad one. This is only a one to battle orders, one uh, uh, six to battle command. And another monarch spirit on this hand. So, with that in mind, let's get started. Let's do a couple Mephisto runs and get this thing started. We're gonna be running on players five difficulty and seeing how that works out. So, we're gonna head over to Durance of Hate. Hopefully, this is bringing back some memories for you guys. Do a couple battle orders 
and just teleport to Mephisto and hopefully get 10 runs in. So first run we're doing, let's get this over with. Static field him first. We're going to switch to Blizzard. And you can hear me clicking away probably, but yeah, this is player's five difficulty, so it's a little slower. And we have a Bearded Axe, a Spedum, and a Lich Wand for our first one. So we'll go identify those in town, see if I need them for the Grail list, and then we'll go to the next run. So that is Spell Steel. I believe I already have that. Uh, that's going to do much. And the Lance of Your Guy I already have as well. So we can drop that for sure. Lance of Your Guy should be somewhere around 115 or 215. Uh, Lance of Your Guy, we do have it. Spell Steel is a middle class unique. So we'll go to 300, go to our axes, and we do have Spell Steel. Throw it in there anyways, and then just to kind of four life steal one, nothing actually that great. Uh, so let's heal up, exit, and go to the next game. And I think based on that and how long it took, I think we're actually going to do a player's three run. Uh, also, magic find stats. So I have 154% better chance of getting magic find. It's not bad, not great, but not bad. Uh, let's run this again. And let's see what we get. Hopefully we can add at least one thing to the grill. I think we're almost halfway done. Uh, I've been playing for a couple months, so not a huge amount of time, but I've put a decent amount of time in for those couple months. Static field. And there we go. Uh, some gauntlets, those are going to be Saigons, don't really need those. Uh, I don't have my loot filter on either, actually. Speaking of loot, check that chest, nothing. Okay, on to the next one. That's two down, eight to go. And actually, I'll just identify these gauntlets, Saigons, yep, yeah, don't need them. I already got the full set. All right, here we go. Run three. Let's see what we can get. And down he goes. And nothing. All right, that was expected. We were, we were due for a nothing run, so that's fine. Moving on to run number four. Hopefully he's good to us. I'm actually still looking for a Hodo. That would be really, or not a Hodo, a uh, Shaco. That would be really nice, which is the two doll skills, two doll attributes, uh, kind of weird looking hat. To number five. Oh, forced to have it there. Maybe we'll do like one lower crafts run just to show you kind of the map I got and uh, see if we can get a high rune out of it and get stupidly lucky. Uh, I did just find a server rune, so I'm not expecting to find a high rune for a little while now. Typically, odds are like 1 in 500 runs you'll get a high rune. Um, so I just got one maybe, I don't know, 30, 40 runs ago. So I'm not anticipating much coming out um, if we do do a lower crest run after this. Alright, run number 5. We had a rune bow, but I think I already have that. Let's see. Do I have that? Mage Wrath. You know what? I might not have that actually. Level 43. That's going to be mid unique. That's going to. Oops. Let's go to 300. And I don't think I have it. 
Yeah, all right, something new for the Grail. So let's open up our Grail list. I'll move this over so you guys can see it. Bam. All right, we got the Grail list out. We got weapons, we got bows down here. Mage Wrath right there, we'll check that off. And if we go back, now we have 245 out of 502. So we're at 48% on our Grail list. Very awesome. All right, so that was round five. Let's take a quick big break here. Before we get into round six. Oh, perfect. All right, round number six. We got one grill list item off. Let's see if we can get another one this time. Uh, we got a unique mall. I don't know if I have a unique mall yet. Can't remember which one that is. That's uh, what is that? I mean, that's a normal unique. That's Bone Snap, right? So 200, so for our Mace class. And I don't have that, so that's another Grail item right there. Back-to-back -back Grail items, I like that. Right, let's open this up again. Weapons, now we're going to Maces. Or is that Club? No, that's, that's a Mace. Where are the Maces? Uh, I cannot find them. Scepter, no. Spears, pole arms. Where is Bone Snap? Club? Oh, here we go. It's under clubs. There it is. Got it. Perfect. Which puts us at 49% even, 246. Getting there. All right, that was round number six. Time for round number seven. Hopefully this will bring back some memories for you guys. I don't know if anyone else played as much as I did, but I used to play a lot uh early on and have kind of been playing on and off pretty much since but decided to get back into it like I said a couple months ago and just fell back in love with it tried to do the grail list for the first time never done this before never unplugged it before so fingers crossed this all works out uh, we got a hand axe the breastplate's going to be isn't hearts which i know we don't need uh i actually think i might need this hand axe though this might be another grail item Let's check it out. 200 and axes. I am not seeing it on there. We got a couple blade bones there. So 19, 6, 17. We can get rid of that one, make some room. And the Nasher is now checked off our list as well. Look at this. This is a good run. You guys are lucky. I like this. All right. Axes, one handed. The Nasher, that was the last normal uh unique item i needed for axes that completes that one and we're just that much closer to uh to getting our grail done so that was run seven we're on to run eight right now get this thing going of course have it again scythe already but let's check it out anyways just in case and 
Yeah, Stole Harvest, I already have Stole Harvest for sure. Okay, round number nine, second to last. Let's see if we can get one more grill item in the last two runs. Got a ton of those. Those aren't even that rare. Uh, grave one. Let's check that out. See if it's any good. Nah, not really. Hell rune. All right, I'll take that. It's good thing I checked that chest. Again, not a super rare rune, but uh, obviously a step up, so not too bad. Another hell room for the collection. And run number 10, here we go. Do the last run, we'll do a quick LK run on players eight. And go from there. Scimitar, that's going to be Cathans, which I already have, and Ringmail, I believe might also be Cathans. Let's check them out just in case, then I'll change player difficulty to players 8, and we will do a lower grass run. Pretty sure I have both of these, but just checking. Uh, what is this? This is Blood Crescent. Uh, maybe I don't have that. I don't see it. Okay, so Blood Crescent is a new one. And the General is Tandu Lee. Uh, this one's a little bit better, so I guess we'll keep that one. Just throw that one down there. Cathans, as I mentioned. And Angelic, right? Not Cathans. Alright, so Player's Difficulty 8. I'm going to quickly mark off my grail list. Oops. Uh, we can close out of that. So weapons, swords, one handed, blood crescent. I just need Rixits to complete that set. So that's good. And we have play, yeah, player set to eight. All right. Now we're going to do a quick lower crest run. What we're doing here is just in the super chest. There are six of them. I really should have my loot filter on for this, but I forgot. Just gonna have to keep an eye out for runes. Uh, looks like nothing there. And nothing. Check the bodies. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to get anything here, which makes sense. That's fair. All right, so that was the first video on the gaming series with Robbie Vapes. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like down below. If you don't, make sure to leave comments. Hit that dislike button, too. I'm good either way. I know this is a change of pace from the channel, but I haven't been active on the channel for like a year, so I figured, you know what? What the hell? Let's just do this. Let's try it out. See what you guys think and go from there. So, with that in mind, let me know what you do think. And that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, ooh, I haven't said that in a while. Happy vaping, YouTube.